Okay, we have your Taylor integral from the Columbia integration, be 2022. This one here was problem number nine. We have the integral of one plus cosine x over one minus cosine x dx. Okay, when I look at this, actually two methods come to mind. There's a really straightforward way where we take the denominator and we just multiply by the conjugate. That works out nice, but what I was interested in doing was maybe something a little less straightforward, just to kind of make it a little more interesting. And what I did was, I just want to multiply the top and bottom here by one half. So what I'll do is we'll rewrite this, but I'll multiply this in here. And just having the integral in this form, what I want to notice is the similarity here to the half angle formula for sine and cosine. So we have our formulas over here to the right. And of course, you'll notice the similarity here with what we have in our integral. The only thing is these formulas over here, we've got the radical. Well, that's going to be pretty easy to clear up is all I can do. What I'll do is we'll just, we'll square both these. And then what's going to happen, the plus or minus, when I square it, the plus or minus isn't going to matter and the radical will go away. But now doing it this way, this is pretty convenient because what we have here in the numerator is actually this formula for cosine squared x over 2. And then what we have in the denominator, 1 minus cosine x over 2 is actually our sine squared. So just plugging in cosine squared where we have this and we're plugging in and plugging in sine squared x over 2 for what we have in the denominator, that's going to actually give me cotangent squared of x over 2. But then from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the identity on cotangent squared and I can actually write that as cosecant squared of x over 2 minus 1. But now I can just go ahead and integrate this because the integral of cosecant squared is going to be minus cotangent of x over 2. But we're just going to need the chain rule with this 2 in the denominator. We can bring this up front as a 2. And then just integrating 1, I'm going to have minus x plus c. And this here is a fine solution. But what I also want to do is get this solution in terms of just x rather than having this half angle here. So let me just get a little more space for that. Okay, so I have my half angle formula for cotangent up here. And what I'll do is we're just going to take this and plug this in here for cotangent in order to get another solution. And so let's see when I do that. What I'm going to do, we have our minus 2 out front. I'm going to split this up into two terms. I'm going to write this as 1 over sine x plus cosecant over, over sine x. And then we still have our minus x out here. But then this is just cosecant and this is just cotangent. So for my alternative solution, we're going to have minus 2 cosecant x minus 2 cotangent x minus x plus c. And that's it. Okay, good problem. We'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.